everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Save me, Matsuya! Boy, it's hot. It really feels like summer now, huh? You're not wrong there. But I don't think the rainy season is over yet, either. Me neither. Having said that, it hasn't really rained well now. Come to think of it, you're right on there. Hello! How you doing? It's good to see you guys today. Afternoon. Afternoon. We're talking about this heat. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait a sec. Try these out. We just got them in today. Oh, that looks so good. How much are they? Oh, no. These are on the house. You've been such a good customer over the years. If you like it, come back and buy more. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Me Matsuya was so nice to us. He sure was. <laughs> Days later. Okay, come right back. I'd like some detergent, please. Oh, hello there. Huh? I'll get it for you. Okay, that all then? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. He's usually in a good mood. What happened? Yes, hello. Speaking. Ah, yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yes, it's been pretty bad lately. I won't last if it stays like this. Huh? What does that mean? Maybe he means that his business just isn't doing as well as it used to. Thanks, dear. I'd better get washing quick. It's nice to take advantage of the good weather lately. You're right. I hope it stays like this and we miss the rainy season. Well, I don't hope that happens at all. If there isn't a rainy season, then there'll be big trouble. Huh? If there's no rainy season, then there'll be a water shortage. That would be a really big problem for farmers who grow our vegetables and rice, wouldn't it? I see. And if that happens for long enough, then greengrocers and rice shops might go out of business. Really? Huh? I get it now, Mimatsuya. What? Mimatsuya's going out of business? Maruko's been going on and on about it this afternoon. Where'd you get that idea all of a sudden, Maruko? I heard him talking. He was on the phone saying that if things stayed like this, he wasn't gonna last. There were no customers in the store either. But one conversation doesn't mean he's going out of business, sweetheart. That's right. Besides, you know, it's not any of your business. But I'm telling you all this because he looked really strange when I was there. He kind of looked depressed, like there was something on his mind. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, Grandpa. You're the only person in this house that really understands me. Mimatsuya works hard for the community, and everyone acts so cold-hearted when they hear he's in trouble. You're absolutely right. Everyone is cold-hearted. If Mimatsuya goes out of business, I'm going to... <laughs> Grandpa, why don't we go to Mimatsuya tomorrow and check out the situation together? All right, let's do that. 
and so the next day. Take a look at his face. Yes, he looks like a completely defeated man. Uh, good afternoon. What can I get you? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, we were just wondering if you had something good. Yes, that's right. We're after something really good. Huh? Like I said, there's no customers. Uh-huh. It's completely deserted. Here's the plan. Let's put out feelers and get the low down. I like it. Uh. Miratsuya! Hello. What do you need? Oh, ah. Uh, say, how are things going lately? Business-wise, I mean. <sighs> well, as you can see, it's not very good right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just what I feared. His business is failing. Yes, I guess so. Uh, what now? Mimotsuya will go out of business unless we do something to help. E? And there was a trolley outside. Uh, no way! He's gonna leave in the middle of the night? Oh, you really think so? Is there anything we can do for him, Grandpa? Let me there see. There you go, folks. Mm. Everything you uh, need. Only the precious stuff here. Don't be shy. It seems this that greengrocer is doing fine. Yep. Plenty of customers. All our tomatoes are on sale today. You won't find a cheaper price anywhere. He's so vigorous. He great. sure is. Right. Hey, Grandpa, maybe we could get some hints for helping Mimatsuya from here. Thanks very much. Huh? Look at that. Oh, oh I uh -huh. see. These price tags are nice. Yeah, yeah they mm. really catch the eye. Oh. Mm. I bet Mimitsuya can restore his business if he finds the right way. Yes, you're right. Uh, hey! Uh, Where are you going in such a hurry, Boo? I've got to go to Mimitsuya's. Really? Well, that's a coincidence. We're going there, too. We're going to buy ice cream, Boo. I don't care. We really don't have time to chit-chat with you right now. Mimitsuya's possibly going out of business. Huh? What? Mimatsuya sometimes gives us treats, you know. It'll be sad if he closes up. I agree, Boo. Hardly a day goes by where he's not doing something for the community, Boo. Sakura, we'll do anything we can to help. Good. That's one sad-looking man, Boo. <sighs> he's really going out of business. That's bad. I know. That's why we need to do something about it and not just stand around talking. Uh, hi, everyone. How can I help you? Uh, please, sir, don't you worry. Just put a smile on your face. Yeah, yeah that's right, Boo. <laughs> put a smile on your dial. <laughs> and don't have a look on your face like your business is failing. That's a little hard, isn't it? After all, my business is failing, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but don't dwell on it. You should work hard to make it better. Yes, we'll help you. We'll help you get this place back on its feet. Huh? <laughs> Check it out. Summer has finally arrived. Pick up select items. We discovered that writing good points about your merchandise encourages customers to buy them. Is that so? Look, I wrote one myself. Hmm? It's for your scrubbing brushes. Scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub. use this on your tub, or maybe don't. Uh, Grandpa, don't tell them not to buy it at the end. You think? Let's put this up at the storefront. I wrote one too, Boo! But I'm not doing a sale on my products, kids. Not yet, but you will. Ah! All the bargain prices will bring customers flying in. And while they're here, they'll buy lots of other stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. But tell me, why on earth are you guys doing all this for me? We're repaying you, right? Yep. We owe you big for all your years of service, Mimatsuya. That's right, Boo. You always give us free stuff. I, I see. Yeah, that's right. We're going to try lots of things to help. Yeah, I get it now. I'm going to put a smile on my face for everybody. <laughs> The next day. I'm home. Grandpa, let's see how Mimatsuya's doing. 
Okay, let's go, let's go. However, rain is expected this afternoon. Hey, step right up, everybody. Well, it looks like his spirits have returned. Oh, yeah, it sure does. Big sale today. Come here to get your bargains. Oh, hey there. Thank you for yesterday. Business seems to be good then. Absolutely. There's finally going to be some rainfall today. Rainfall? rainfall? That's right. We haven't had any rain in these parts for a while. I haven't sold an umbrella since the last time it rained. Umbrella? That's right. I had them specially made. I stock a lot of them for the rainy season. Wait a sec. That's the reason why you were upset? Because of umbrellas? Yeah, that's right. I took the trouble of bringing them in that trolley. But if the rain doesn't come, it's all a huge waste. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Looks like it's starting to rain. Aha! Uh -huh. You don't have an umbrella, do you? I'll sell you these at a special price. They're 600 yen apiece, but I'll sell you them both for a thousand. I see. Well, that's a good saving. Hey, Grandpa. Oh? One is just fine. Uh, yes. Yes, you're right. Just one umbrella. Thanks for shopping. Huh? Mm. Mm. Oh. Here. Thank you. Come back again. Oh. Here you go. Mibatsuya sure is a good salesman. Maruko realizes that there's no reason to worry about him going out of business. In this episode, Nakano goes to a French restaurant. Ah, uh, come on. What do you say we take a break? Ah, uh, sure. Um, uh, listen, I, uh... Yes? What is it? You see, uh, fra, fra. Huh? Fra, fra? Oh, no. I mean French cuisine. Listen, the thing is, uh, do... Do you ever get some... Some French food to eat? Huh? No, never. I don't have that much time. Hey, Mr. Nakano, why are you talking about French cuisine? Well, uh, frankly speaking, a relative of mine gave me something the other day as a small gift, and, uh, I, uh... What? Did they give you French cuisine? Oh, no. Uh, voucher. A complimentary. Hmm? I see. A complimentary ticket. Really? Golly, I bet the food there is delicious beyond words. But, uh, the manor, the manor. What do you mean, manor? You see, uh, it's about the manners. Oh, dear, sweetheart, if we're going to a French restaurant, we'll be expected to use a knife and fork. Uh, yeah, maybe. Do you know anything about French manners? Oh, uh, I don't. So tell me, please, do you, uh, do you know French manners? Oh, um, I use chopsticks to eat my hamburgers. And I use a spoon for my curry, too. Hey, we're talking about French cuisine here. Oh, yes, you're right there. But, sir, you had a chance to eat something delicious. So why didn't you just go? I can't. I can't go in there without knowing the manners. It's, it's dreadful. But somehow I just have to overcome that. Huh? My, my wife. I want to take her, but the manners are getting in my way. Yeah, you're having a hard time, huh? <laughs> Mr. Nakano is having trouble? Yep. Hey, Mom, what do you know about that? Manners in a French restaurant. Oh, dear. Not that much. I hardly have a chance to go to that kind of restaurant. I'll give you one guess why. Hmm? Huh. Manners are easy to figure out. Hey, wait. You know about that stuff? That's right. You see? When the waiter is pouring the wine for you, it is actually rude to hold the glass. Yeah? Hey, what else is there, Dad? Hmm. That's pretty much all I know. <sighs> and, of course, it's drink-related. Ah, oh, French cuisine sounds amazing. I sure wish I could have that once in a while. Listen up. You don't need to eat that stuffy French food to have a good time. But Mr. Nakano really wants to take his wife to the French restaurant. Isn't that sweet how much he cares about his wife? Uh-huh, it sure is. Well, I kind of wish I was taken out to a nice restaurant to have something delicious once in a while. Mm. Mm. Hey, I know. 
Why don't we take the whole family to that restaurant as well? You see, Mr. Nakano and his wife might be more comfortable with us there, right? Oh, come on. You couldn't be more transparent if you were made of air. Hey, busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Banawa's eating the same food as us, but he's giving off a totally different vibe. Hmm. Hi there, how are things? What's up? Is it hard to learn French manners? Like what to do and stuff? Manners? Yep. I don't think it's that big of a deal, to be honest. Why do you ask? It's for a friend of my grandfather's. He's worried about getting the manners wrong in the restaurant. I see. Hmm. Huh? Are you serious? Really? So he'll... he'll teach me all the manners? That's right. That's what he's gonna do. Ah, oh, how grateful I am. Right, I'm gonna work so hard. And bring your wife over as well. Uh, sure. Tell him thank you. I'm a... I'm grateful for the help. And so the next day. Look at this house. It's like a kind of palace. Am I really allowed inside? You really don't need to be so nervous. No. My wife said she couldn't come today. <laughs> Maybe I should decline the offer. I'm gonna head home. Nope. You came this far, right? Come. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. The dishes will now be brought in. <sighs> I'm really thirsty now. Oh. 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 Everybody, those bowls you're all drinking from are called finger bowls and they're to be used for washing your fingers later. Ah. ah, regarding the meat, it's generally accepted to cut from the left-hand side. Oh, right! The left, the left, the left! For a fish dish with bones, you're going to use the fork to hold the fish in place. Cut it, but don't turn the entire fish over on the plate. I should mention that to wife. Ah, oh. mm. oh, pardon, Mr. Nakano. Ah! When setting your cutlery down while dining, please do it like this. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> please just try and relax a bit, Monsieur. M Monsieur. Oh. He's always just like this. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah. 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 I'm... I'm very sorry. Everything's all right. Ah. When you drop something, call a waiter over and he'll handle it. Oh. There. Your clean fork. Oh. Making other people pick up the things I dropped. No, I can't! Sorry, I'm so embarrassed. Please, forgive me. He's a klutz. Ah, I'm terrified of humiliating my wife. It's not worth going through with it. No, oh, I can't take it anymore. No, listen. Oh, I can't do this. Ah, are you all right? I appreciate all of the effort you've gone to, but... Mm, I'm sorry! Oh. Uh, hey, wait! Mr. Nakano! Goodness! That was a disaster! Oh, I'm very sorry! Look, it's impossible for us to eat at this French restaurant! Please take this! You won't humiliate yourselves! I... I think it's better if you two just go instead. Oh, no. We can't take that. Oh, please. Take it. Please. Take it. I... Uh, I have oh. to go. Hey. No. You dropped this. Come back. <sighs> He's gone. Huh? Look. Oh. It looks like he took notes on all the manners that he was taught. You see, that's how it went. So I gave them the complimentary ticket. Honey, I'm sorry. It's quite all right, sweetheart. It's just that I was looking forward to the opportunity to trying that food with you. But now we can't. It's just a shame. 
It seems like a terrible waste if we don't use it. Don't you think, Grandpa? Uh, well, I don't know. But I don't really feel like going now. Doesn't feel right. To be honest, I feel sorry for him. He worked so hard to write this down. Yeah, he sure did. Mr. Nakano should be the one to go. But then... Ah! Let's see. When down the fork here... Days later. Ah, thank you for coming over. But we've decided that we can't go. It's just too much trouble. Take a look. It's for you, Mr. Nakano. Uh -huh. oh. 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 Huh? It's good, huh? I asked Hanawa about the bits you missed, and he filled in all the blanks. Oh, Maruko! Honey, come on. Look. The two of them have done so much for us, correct? So why don't we just go? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so after several more days... I'm home. Well, hello there, Maruko. Mr. Nakano phoned me today. He told me that he went to that French restaurant last night. Yeah, really? What'd he say? Was the food great? His exact word was scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> Awesome. I'm so glad. But still, I wish we'd had a chance to taste that food. Maruko, just leave it to me, okay? We'll both have French for dinner tonight. Really? Bye. And this is... I found this French flag in the encyclopedia. It looks pretty cool, huh? Well, Maruko, I hope you enjoy your very first French meal ever. Yeah, this is exactly like Paris. For Maruko, it would be a long time before she had real French cuisine.